dimensional homogeneity what is dimensional homogeneity dimensional homogeneity refers to the dimensions of each terms in an equation on both sides being equal so dimensions on lhs should be equal to dimensions on the rhs then it is called as the dimensional homogeneity so if the dimensions of each term on both sides of an equations are same then the equation is known as dimensionally homogeneous equations so the power of fundamental dimensions that is l m and t on both sides of the equations should be identical for dimensionally homogeneous equation so if the powers of the fundamental quantities on both sides are equal then it is called as dimensional homogeneity let us take an example of that so let us consider velocity velocity is given by uh, square root of 2 gh uh, dimensions of lhs is v v is equal to l by t l by t is uh, l is the length t is the time so l t raised to minus 1 similarly dimension of rhs if we go for dimension of rhs you can see square root of 2 gh so square root of 2 gh g acceleration due to gravity it is l by t square so once again h is l then um, if you take the square root then l square by t square if you take the square root then it is l by t then you compare the dimensions of lhs and rhs so both are lt raised to minus 1 then the equation v is equal to square root of 2 gh is dimensionally homogeneous so it can be used in any system of units irrespective of the system of units so it will be dimensionally homogeneous whether you use si unit or uh, any other fps or any other units so it will be similar so that is called as dimensionally homogeneous the equation in which the dimensions on both sides are equal those are called as dimensionally homogeneous equation so here in the present uh, situation v is equal to square root of 2 gh is dimensionally homogeneous therefore so this equation is called as dimensionally homogeneous equation so next we will go for the methods what are the different methods of dimensional analysis so there are basically two methods for a dimensional analysis first one is relays method second one is buckingham pi theorem first we will go for relays method what is relays method the relays method is used for determining the expressions for a variable which depends upon the maximum three or four variables only it means that if there are three or four variables in any particular situation we can go for relays method if the variables are more than four then it is difficult or practically not possible to go with the relays method then we'll go for the buckingham pi theorem so what is the procedure for uh, relays method let x be the variable which depends upon x1 x2 x3 variable so x is a variable which is depending upon x2 x1 x2 x1 x2 and x3 according to relays method x is a function of x1 x2 and x3 and therefore mathematically so x is a function of x1 x2 x3 because x is dependent on x1 x2 x3 so therefore it can be written as x is equal to function of x1 x2 x3 this can be written as x is equal to k x1 raised to a x2 raised to b x3 raised to c where k is a constant and a b c are the powers so the values of a b c are obtained by comparing the powers of fundamental dimensions on both sides so if you um, compare the fundamental dimensions on both sides you get a b and c so thus the expression is obtained for dependent variable so which is the dependent variable x which is a function of so x1 x2 x3 so this method is called as the relays method